all right so we were talking about our modern periodic table we had to talk about uh, mendeleev's periodic table which was between newlands and the modern periodic table but the modern periodic table we i found it that uh, we should talk it about it uh, earlier than the mendeleev's periodic table so in the modern periodic table we have groups and periods and suppose this is a table any table not necessarily the periodic table these are called the periods and these are called the groups so basically the rows are the periods and the columns are the groups so the modern periodic table is based on one's very simple law which was proposed by mosley he was a scientist it's called the modern periodic law what this law states a very simple thing that the properties of elements are a function of their atomic number so they you can get a question like what's the modern periodic law you just have to write this one simple sentence that the properties of elements are a function of their atomic number now what does this mean that the properties are a function of their atomic number it is that the atomic number of any element will determine its property so basically the properties depend on the atomic number and how do these depend is that the properties get repeated they get repeated after certain intervals of atomic numbers so this what does this mean is that the properties of the elements after a certain atomic number has been reached like after every n elements the properties will get repeated and one mistake i had made is that newlands what he proposed was that he arranged the atoms or ele elements in increasing order of their atomic mass and not number i had said number so sorry for that but the modern periodic law is very 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 um i mean what to say confident that the properties get repeated or the properties are a function of atomic numbers so the periodic table needs to be arranged and the periodic table the elements need to be arranged in such a way that they are in increasing atomic numbers and not increasing atomic masses 
and generally in mass uh, the atomic mass also increases with the atomic number but it's not the case i mean it's not true for every element there are lots of places where it decreases where it remains constant or uh, where it repeats so uh, uh, it's better to say that the properties get repeated after certain intervals of atomic numbers so we will be dealing with atomic numbers instead of atomic masses and you know that it resolves many problems because the atomic numbers of each element are unique but atomic masses are not so the atomic in uh, so if we have two uh, elements with the same atomic mass we can't place them i mean uh, we have to place them in the same slot so that will be a disadvantage but the atomic numbers since they are unique then every element can be placed in its own unique slot in the periodic table so we have talked about the periodic table in which hydrogen was hanging in mid air and then there was lithium beryllium and then there was a long gap then there was boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and then there was helium over here of course and then there was neon then under lithium there was sodium potassium then we have rubidium cesium francium you need to remember only up till potassium rubidium cesium francium if needed they will that they will be given to you then under beryllium we have magnesium calcium again you need to remember only till calcium and then rubidium uh, after calcium we have strontium barium and radium and then after these two groups we start directly from here i mean this space is empty so after calcium you don't need to remember all these just for your information uh, just to fill the table scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper zinc then we have boron aluminum gallium indium thallium carbon silicon germanium tin lead nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astatine helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon then we have all these things we don't need to delve into this right now we need to concentrate only till this much and we need to concentrate we need only these elements just and obviously hydrogen so we need to learn each and every element and its atomic number and its position in the periodic table till calcium so in the periodic table basically there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 what are these groups and there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and there is one more period over here sorry 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 i'm so sorry hydrogen is in the first period so 1 2 3 4 5 
six and seven periods. So this you need to remember. There are eighteen groups and seven periods. And this is called group number one. This is called group number two. This thing, this whole thing is called group number one, group number two, then three, four, five, and so on. And then this hydrogen and helium is called period one. This is called period two, and then so on. So, why are they arranged in such a way? What is the requirement? for them to be arranged in such a way see after calcium uh, we need a bit more higher uh, uh, explanations to explain why this scandium titanium comes like this in the middle and they don't come uh, like this over here or why doesn't boron carbon nitrogen come over here so we for now will concentrate only till calcium now in this periodic table there is something called periodicity what is periodicity is basically the repetition of properties with increasing atomic number okay. so what do we see is that after each period there is a repetition of properties like after hydrogen helium or hydrogen i'll explain later after helium there is lithium then after lithium there is a series of elements and then we come back to sodium so this first group lithium sodium whatever this will have similar properties and why do they have similar properties there is a reason let me make some space over here 